Hello, welcome to Quack Loop. Thank you for being here. We have so many campaign games we want to play. Yes. And we're finally together again as a married couple, ready to sit down and actually journey through some stories. And Jesse doesn't have a say at all with what game we are going to play. I pick the list, and you are going to pick the top runner out of all of my choices at that I've been At the end learning. of this video, after probably three or four days of it being live, we're just going to go through a comment picker and see how many people voted for each specific game. They can do that. They can identify specific words. We're going to look at every game we bring onto the list, six total, and the one that has the most most comments down below will be the game that we dive into. Now, it'll be about two weeks or so before we start producing content. We are going to be preparing the rule book in that time. We are going to be playing a couple episodes off camera to get our feet wet, yep. and we're going to be getting the new gameplay studio ready to film in. We want a place that's big, open, and uh, These are big games. impressive. And we also want to make sure we get everything as accurate as possible. And considering I have my rules lawyer with me, we'll be able to do that. That being said, I wanted to get my two cents in as early as possible because from this point on, I'm basically just eye candy. <laughs> Very cute as that is. All right. First choice is going to be a game that you have played okay. so many times before. I believe you have played through the entire campaign. This is... Scythe. Shira has never played Scythe before. It is one of Jesse's favorite games. I believe it made it, I think, into close to your top 10 or in your top 10. One of one of my very favorite. I have not played this for probably over a year and a half, maybe two years. You have the Metal Mechs. I have the most glorious version of this game. And for those of you that are thinking of yourself, one, not a campaign game, Rise of Fenris. We'll play through it together. And two, not the best two-player. Don't worry. We'll add in not one, but two Automata. Hmm. You let us know. I don't even know what all that means, but I know that he likes this game, and so I'm super excited. Set it down. It's so heavy. Let us know if so, Scythe so is going to be in the running. What's next? You grab something on your side. Okay, on my side. A game that actually the community has been asking us to play ever since we did some demos of it. Yeah, we played it off camera. Um, a couple, We got a couple hours into the game. This is Sleeping Gods by Ryan Lockett, Red Raven Games. And it is such an immersive story. Yeah. I think it's going to... Uh, people have been saying it takes like between 30 to 40 hours to completely mm. play it. And I've played through farther than you. But in the session that you and I were able to yeah. play together... We really started to get connected to the stories and the way that it was unveiling. And we started on going on different pathways than I'd experienced before. Yeah. It's a really lovely, immersive game. Yeah, and the artwork is just fantastic. You're also I mean, a massive Ryan Lockett fan. I am. I like Now or Never. Um, I have to play Near and Far, Above and Below. He does have the expansion coming for this yeah. one, which I'm super excited about. It's a standalone. About. Standalone. It's not an expansion. It's true, a standalone. True. The Misty Mountains. Yeah. Something like that. But it's in a similar vein. Okay. Sleeping Gods, let us know. Is that entering the running? Oh my god. I don't know how to put it. A game that is going to probably have the video title of Shira's new number one of all time? You want to talk about this? <laughs> it won't make my number one of all no, time. No, okay. No. But well, it, I guess your top ten, though. It will it'll probably be my top ten. I really, really like this is Vampire the Masquerade Chapters. This is such a cool campaign game where you have these little chapter books, you see the narrative of the characters going back and forth, you're a vampire in, I think, Toronto, Canada, somewhere in mm -hmm. Canada, where you're trying to pretend and not get discovered as a vampire, and you have to feed on blood in between the chapters. It was really cool. We got to play an early release copy, and ours, ours are finally in. It has not been unboxed because we've been waiting for the new studio to be up and running so we can unbox it in yeah. all of its glory, and that's going to happen this week. We have to all admit as a community, at the moment, this is the closest we're getting Shira to playing an RPG game with us. Excuse you. Because this is based off of an RPG campaign. And just so you all know, we made it, I think, eight chapters in or so. Yeah. Like, we're committed. We're in. She will not let us not finish this, either on camera or off camera. Yeah, and most of these campaigns, even if we've started them off camera, with the caveat of one game on this list, we will be restarting from scratch. From zero. So you see the evolving storyline. Yeah. There's only one campaign on this list, which you know which one it is, that we will not be starting from zero. And Grab we'll, one from your side. of course, figure out the balance of how much we show on the channel, how much we show on Patreon. If the videos stop getting a ton of engagement when it comes to the front end, we'll make them available in other ways. Yeah. It's the balance of YouTube algorithm, 
with a sequential cyclical I'm type. I'm just doing thing. stuff for fun now, so. Okay, one from my side. Oh! Why are these always so much? Because they're massive, Shira. <laughs> this is Assassin's Creed. People only need to own one of these games, and we own all of them. There was an expansion for it recently yeah. on Kickstarter, and we were in the middle of a uh, marriage and chaos. Yeah, and, and so we didn't quite get to cover it. We're hoping we'll to do some extra very, coverage well, for them here soon. Yeah, but I really enjoyed base game, and I want to dive into base game in preparation for the expansion coming to the world. Yeah, it's. it's I think this is less of a campaign. As well, I think this is more of a like storybook. You can go from sequence to sequence, yeah. but it's I a big really box like game. Mechanics. It's a big box game with a ton of different scenarios that we can continue yeah. diving into. And I think there is a bit of uh, evolving storyline there. Yeah. Okay. Off to the side. Me. We have more than six. Oh. We have seven. Oh. Sorry. Well, the last one. One doesn't just, count. <laughs> don't even count the last one, honestly. And it's not this one. This is one. It's still in the running. <laughs> it's this Crimson Scale. Why is this? This is like fan-made expansion. What's I going know, on here? Because I really, really like the fan who made it. <laughs> That's true. And you like Gloomhaven. And I like Gloomhaven. We've been playing the digital version of Gloomhaven, yeah. which would have been on this list, but digital implanta implementation is harder to do. I do want to do a one-shot because we were gifted a very, very deluxe set mm. of Gloomhaven miniatures. Yeah. Um, Frost. Haven was a beast to get to the table. We've already done some channel coverage. You mm. did all the Gloomhaven miniatures could just work with this. Too, I know, which is why, which is why this is on this list. So this Crimson is Scales is the most ambitious fan-made expansion that's ever existed. Yeah. Uh, we would love to be able to feature and journey through the campaign. It, it really is a love letter to the community and community yeah. of makers out there. And on top of that, the company that makes this Crimson Scales that is sense. currently working on their own product called Rove, yeah. which is going to be different from Gloomhaven, but in the genre of if anyone likes Gloomhaven they should be keeping their eyes and ears to the ground for when Rove launches on Kickstarter because it's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, I think it's two plus years in development now. Yeah. yeah, they've been working on it for quite a long time. They've been taking yeah. really great feedback from the community, from yeah. the playtesters, from play content testing. creators. And so I, I so, just want to do this one. We'd love to dive into it. If you all vote for Crimson Scales and the last one, don't even worry about this one. Nope, there's still just, one on my second. Is there still? <gasps> okay. Okay. This was a wedding death gift. may die. This was a wedding gift from a very, very beloved friend of ours, Max. This is Cthulhu Death May Die. And yes, you might say technically it is not a campaign, but there are chapters. You can go yeah. through it. And I would like to go through all the chapters in order. Yeah, we in do them in order. Yep. In sequence with the same characters in a mini-esque campaign style. Probably not the same characters. I have my super overpowered characters that <laughs> okay. I love. She would have yes. her own character. I would cycle through a few of them. <laughs> uh, although they do have a Jew. So, you know, Kippa and Chits Chits and everything. And we might, we might two-hand it with some of these games mm. that have um, multiple, where it's actually better to play as a full party of four. We might yeah. play two characters to give you a better sense of some of those so characters. So if Cthulhu Death of the Die is a sequence or a series that you'd like to see featured here on the channel, let us know. It's in the running. How beautiful is this box, by the way? Oh, my goodness. Gorgeous. Last one. And okay. this one counts. It does, despite you, what Jesse no, says. You can ignore it. This will be the one campaign we do not start over from scratch. This. Don't worry, there's enough in this that we don't need to start it over from <laughs> scratch. If you have been pining, begging, pleading, asking, wanting, desiring for us to play Kingdom Death Monster once again on the channel, you just want to peek over it. Yeah, I just... I was trying to make it so people could see your face. No. If your heart and soul has been asking for Quackalope to get back to our one true love. If you have been frustrated that we have stopped at Lantern Year 14 or because 15. Shira because Shira moved away I moved for eight away, months. And then we got married. Then you're in the right place because I want to finish this campaign. If Gambush Test is on its way. are hyped about us spending literally a month dedicated to Gambler's Chest coverage alone. Yeah. Uh, let us know because whether it's on camera here for the audience or off camera on a table tucked in the corner, we're going to start getting prepared for what will be the next epic thing to happen in the board game spirit. You realize for the longest time, Kingdom Death was king. Frosthaven technically took that throne, but in the genre of all these big box miniature style campaign games, Kingdom Death set the framework, set the precedent. Yeah. And Gambler's Chest is probably the single biggest thing to arrive in the course of the last, like, five, six years of Kickstarter history. Yeah. 
People were like saying it was never going to come. This is Titanic. We have heard that like shipping. They're confirming shipping. Yeah. I just got charged shipping. It's so exciting. It's a big deal. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Share it. Tell them what they need to do to make sure you get to play the game you want. Comment down below what game you would like to see featured on this channel next in a full campaign from start to finish until we or unless we die trying. Which or is very likely trying. with some yeah. of these titles. Yeah. Uh, what out of these do you want to play the most? I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. <laughs> Taking Kingdom Death off the table because both of us are. It, are we committed to finishing our story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, off, Taking off or on, on or off camera, either way. Ha! Uh, such a hard decision. I will narrow it down to three. No, one. <laughs> you also have to leave. You have to remember yeah, yeah, to one, 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 one. Oh, that's your number one pick? For now, because it's the shortest one, and so it's going to take us the quickest, and then we're going to get to launch into another one, which is we'll going to be Crimson it. Scales. And then we're going to go through Crimson Scales, and then we're going to play Vampire the Masquerade, and then we're going to play Assassin's Creed, and then we're going to play Sleeping Gods, and then we're going to play Scythe. I think a full campaign of either Scythe <laughs> or Sleeping Gods would be my pick. Scythe, because it's just weird, and it's fun, and it's quick, like you said. We can really get it done in, in about mm -hmm. a month, month and a half. Sleeping Gods, it's not too long either. Uh, maybe a little bit longer than Scythe. Um, but it's just so, like, the world we can just keep exploring. It's funny because um, those two are last on my list. I like the gory. Literally, all the boxes that I want to Big. play are black yeah. with monsters. Yeah, great. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Whatever the case, though, whatever you do. Remember to do the important thing. Play some games. Comment down below. Comment down below. Let us know what game we're Let playing. Us, what game are we playing? We'll see you next time. Bye.